drawing lips, we always want to start with the parting line first. Sometimes that can be straight across, sometimes that can curve up, sometimes it can curve down, and then sometimes it looks kind of like a hill or two little hills. Okay, and then after that you will draw in your upper lip. And upper lips can be one single mound. It can look like two mounds. It can look like two mountains. And lots of different shapes that an upper lip can have. I like to draw mine with two connected, as two connected heels. And these are just generic lips. I'm not looking at any reference picture to create them and then you want to put in your bottom lip so the bottom lip can look equal to the top lip and um, it is not it, it can be smaller than the top lip or it can be twice as big as the top lip so I'm just gonna make it average looking so we're not gonna draw the whole entire thing all the way across the only time you would actually outline the entire lip is if you were drawing a, fi um, a figure or a person with a lip liner all the way around all of their lips. That's the only time. Otherwise, if we're just drawing some natural lips, we're not going to draw in the full bottom lip. It looks um, more natural if we just draw the curvature of the center of the bottom lip. And then we're going to add a few rounded lines. So the one in the center will be straight. The ones on the left side will round to the left. And the ones on the right side will round to the right. And then when we go to do the bottom lip, we want to be um, very careful about it. We want to put in just a little bit of shading. So we don't actually want to draw a line. We actually just want to do a little bit of scribble. And same thing, the line in the center is going to be straight. And then any lines that come down on the right side will round to the right. Any lines that come down on the left side will round to the left. And then we just want to make sure that that parting line stays nice and sharp. To blend in that bottom lip. The bottom lip is um, lighter or appears lighter because the way it pouts out, it catches more light. So it's going to um, not be shaded as dark as our top lip. To do our best to use just um, a vinyl eraser to put back in the light spots. And then we just want to make sure that the lines of the upper lip blend into the shading. We don't want to see any outline around those lips. So this can look like hair if you don't blend it away. So it's, if you don't want it to be a mustache, make sure you blend it in. Right, and 
that is how to shade and draw lips.